What's up guys, it's your most hated Kaiju Power Scaler, King Churros here. We're back at it again with another versus battle. Today in the battle arena, we got Monster vs. Godzilla vs. Godzilla Ultima. Now this video was suggested by Goji Pan. Round of applause for Goji Pan. Thank you for the video suggestion. And for anybody else watching, you're very much welcome and allowed to go in the comment section and suggest any versus battle you would like to see. You want to see the Condor vs. Biolante, I got you. You know what I'm saying? So feel free to comment whatever versus battle you want to see. Now, on to the video. We have Godzilla Ultima, who's up to 45 to 100 meters. Weight unknown. Possibly 60,000 tons, because Heisei Godzilla was also 60,000 tons, same height. Guestimation. Uh, his abilities include archetype manipulation, high durability, mountain level strength, atomic breath, which moves at Mach 139 speed and has megatons of power. His feats include tank and military power, fi uh, military power fire, fire power. Uh, his atomic breath completely melts tanks and steel, burning through skyscrapers, and it burns Tokyo into a hellscape. Uh, his atomic breath one-shotted Manda and the Rodan, and he burned through Jet Jagger's face and cut and burned a big hole through him. And uh, that's kind of all of his feats because that man only had about five minutes of screen time. So uh, let's get on to legendary. So as for Legendary, he's 393 feet, uh, 99,634 tons, but if you want to go by the GVK stats, we're most likely are inaccurate, but if you want to, he's 164,000 tons. He has a running speed of 200 to 513 miles per hour, and that's when he's on all fours. His tail swing, if you lowball him, 89 miles per hour, but if you go with his more accurate, Tail swing, it should be about the Mach 1, a little less than that, maybe. His atomic breath moves at uh, Mach, 80, Mach 83. He is atomic breath at low ball is 672 gigatons, or you can put it up to 8.1 teratons. So either you say his atomic breath is large island level or country level. You can also, low, um, if you want to wank him hard, you could put him to moon level with his atomic breath, but trust me, guys. It's most likely not moon level, so we'll just stick with the safer bets. And I would list off his feats, but come on, guys. I know you guys know his feats. So let's just get on to the video. Uh, I'm here with my mates, 205 and Milk. 205 knows a lot about yeah, Ultima yeah, yeah. and Singular Point. I'm letting him describe Godzilla Ultima because I don't understand the anime that much. I'm kind of a ding-dong downy morning, so I'll let him handle it. Why am I getting double teamed? Alright, so the specifics of the Iker type? Uh, I mean, actually, we don't even need to describe that. You know what I'm saying? So let's get on to this battle. How are we going to work this all, out? All we have to really explain is that, uh, didn't, didn't we say we we're going to do, like, separate ways on how we we're going to solve this battle? Oh, yeah, right. yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. So there's going to be, I guess, two rounds, because I can't see a third round happening, but two, well, not two rounds, but two ways of looking into this fight. There's gonna be one where Godzilla Ultima is gonna be like how he is in the actual show. So the accurate version of him. And then we're gonna have uh, one where we kind of take away his uh, immortality because um, we don't really, we, yeah, the archetypes, because we don't really see how it's like portrayed <laughs> that well combat wise. And it kind of makes this fight annoying. You'll see how when we get into describing how it works when we describe normal him. So, in fact, let's just describe the normal battle. So, as you guys heard when I was reading off their stats, Monsterverse kind of bodies Ultima by a lot when it when we go off of feats and even destructive capacity, destructive capacity, AP, AP every everything, everything's just in favor of Monsterverse. The thing is, though, apparently Ultima is um, what's it called? Immortal. Yeah, he's immortal because of his archetypes. So, Monsterverse should be powerful enough to kill it. As we saw, Ultima is able to be hurt by Manda. He was bleeding by the neck when Manda bit him. And Jet Jagger is able to stagger him and punch him a couple of times. So, it's not like he's just a, a god, basically, where he, nothing phases him. He clearly is affected by objects in that reality. So, if Monsterverse is stronger than all of those monsters I named, so he should have an easy time just throwing Singular Point around. 
I mean, singular point Ultima around. He's much faster and has much more firepower. And we've seen Ultima get uh, a whole open wound from a small Angiris spike as Jet Jagger uh, was trying to like ride on it. It didn't hurt Ultima. Like Ultima wasn't crying in pain or nothing, but he still had a gaping hole from it. So that just shows you he's susceptible to attack. So Monsterverse should be able, who, whose AP is way higher than that, than a uh, small 15 meter, like not 15 meter, like five meter Jet Jaguar. His AP is way higher than that Jet Jaguar. So he should definitely be able to injure and hurt him. And he seems to have better combat feats than that Godzilla anyways. So overall, he should win, but I'll let 205 get into that. Yeah, so like we said about the immortality thing, the archetype just isn't going to allow Ultima to die. He basically will just not die as long as he is in the realm of the archetype. It, It's actually quite confusing in how it works, but basically... He can't evolve either, cause like this is uh, his ultimate state. There's nothing. There's nothing that went higher above this. He has. Yeah. You can't. Give, we have to give him the same treatment as uh, Shin Gojira. Yeah. So no, no, no DC. evolution argument so, yeah, saying no he evolved to beat him. Argument that he will, yeah, that this he is strictly to, like, Ultima. And anyways, even if we were to yeah. take that into account, what is he evolving to, guys? He went from Titanosaurus, Varen, Gorosaurus, and then. True form Godzilla. What what is he gonna turn into now? What? Destroyer? Like he can't. we we don't know what it is. It's in it's incalculable. So even if yeah. we were to use that, it's not very good for scaling or uh for a discussion anyway. So yeah, we're just not taking into account evolution at all. Yeah, so in that yeah, so Monster vs. Godzilla would body old But like, the problem constant. yeah, he'll but the just, problem is is that since he won't die, it'll just happen like just constantly unless you want to assume that until the point where Godzilla just gets tired but then even when he's tired he still wouldn't be immune to any of Ultima's attacks because his durability is still there regardless and this is proven by his fight with Mecha Godzilla when he was drained uh, Mecha Godzilla wasn't even able he was able to definitely hurt and overpower him but he wasn't able to kill Godzilla well until the very end but we saw he was able to handle most of the beatings and Mecha Godzilla is more powerful than Ultima and Ultima is just not gonna be get there in time, basically. And we know, uh, Mon since Monsterverse is just stronger in general, we know because of Dominion, he's able to be in a tired state and beat monsters that are weaker than him for years. So even then, it'll just take a really long time to get there. And at that point, does that really count as a win? No, not at all. What stage do you want to do, Milk? Harbury 2. I feel like Ultima has the potential of winning, but like you said, it really takes so long, and it like went really. I mean, honestly, I feel like <laughs> I feel like a monster verse would eventually just get bored and just basically like kill him, not kill him, you know, just like make him like go down and then just leave, and then Ultima comes back and is like, wait, where do you go? It's Pretty just, much. It's, it's, it's really just an endless cycle. I mean, it's not gonna. Let's let's do, yes. let's, let's let's make this an equation for if just in case you're watching this and still not understanding. Let's say this. Let's say you can always respawn no matter what when you die. Now guess what? Imagine getting spawn camped. <laughs> <laughs> All right, legit. That's what's gonna happen to Ultima. He's literally gonna spawn in just to die. Yeah, like, let me put this into perspective. You, the viewer, you're watching this video right now, here in real life. Let's say, for some crazy reason, you can respawn after you die. <laughs> now, let's guess what? You have to fight Superman. You're never winning. <laughs> no matter what. Yeah, you come back to life and all, but you're just going to get bodied every time you come back. So, basically, you're kind of like in an endless loop of just getting bodied. This is Ultima situation. Yeah, pretty much. And even, and yeah, without the archetypes, he would absolutely die. He would get body, and that's really much, that's, that's really it. <laughs> okay, and Monster you know what, for even the sake of discussion, to prove this argument even more, let's give them equal stats. Monsterverse still wins. <laughs> 
Monster vs. still wins, yeah. If we even if we gave them equal stats off of showings same alone, equal stats, everything the same, still wins. Yeah, even because of showings alone, it's just way more impressive than uh, Ultima. So even if he was able to like hurt him and stuff, it's just not gonna work. It's kind of just a, an easy clap for Legendary. I'd say Legendary wins low to mid difficulty. And even though, I don't know, Ultima was never showing any signs of regen, did he? He just showed signs of evolution, but no regen. I, I didn't see no regen. And uh, when I was doing my research for this video, I also saw, saw no indication of regen. Well, I mean, we can't we can't assume that he regens because probably just because he's just never been wounded that hard. All right, did did he get wounded? Yes, he did. Like at all? Manda bit his and neck like, and he started bleeding, and then as I mentioned bleeding, earlier, but, he never but I'm assuming. But then afterwards, the course of the film, it's slowly regen. But the thing is, there's like time lapse, like during the movie, so you never get to really see him regen. But I mean, I guess with fast evolution, he has fast regen. But regardless, 2014 has an Really good region. Yeah, I'll, I'll say Monster vs. Region, not 2014. Just Monster vs. Region in general just has better region since he was able to get rid of the scar that was on his leg and get rid of the scar that was going through his body. It wasn't even a scar, it was just like burnt up marks that was left after Mecha Godzilla beamed him. Yeah. I mean he can't he had a black eye from Mecha Godzilla, but I'm pretty sure if the Monsterverse continues, we're not gonna see him with a black eye still, so there's that. Actually no, his black eye healed right after the fight because his, when he's yeah, uh his black eye when he's making peace with Kong, you don't see it anymore. So yeah. Off of showings on screen he he has better regen already. Even though we can't really determine Ultima's regen because it's never mentioned, never shown, so it's kind of just a featless thing. Either way, that doesn't change the course of the fight. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, we're just gonna I'll, cap it there, mates. Legendary I'll win. Still, I'll still say oh, this is a better matchup than Shin Godzilla and uh, Monsterverse. Yeah, it's actually a better matchup by, than by a Shin. Fire. Honestly, if you put Shin a against Ultima, now that's a fight. Now that's a fight. But, but she's still getting his ass clapped, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, no, don't say that, they're gonna as hate you. As a Shin <laughs> fan, I, as, as much as I love Shin, my favorite Godzilla design, my favorite Godzilla incarnation, he is getting absolutely smoked by Ultima. Yeah, so... Yeah, you heard it here, folks. Monsterverse wins. <laughs> GG's. I'll catch you guys later.